Hi everybody, Robert here for more River Training and we're going to continue on with our MEP. So in this lesson we'll cover space separation. Now space separation will need a schedule first to get started. So we want to go to our architecture tab and let's go to views, I'm sorry. And we'll create a schedule And this schedule will be for uh, spaces. So we'll just scroll down to spaces. Okay. Now, for this exercise, because we want to continue on to zones, we'll find we'll, <coughs> we'll find volume zone. Uh, we'll do a room name. Don't see room name. Oh, there it is. Room name. Number. Then we'll, uh, let's see. I think we did room name, room number. And let's go with area. So we'll select these, create these rooms of this building that we have in this area. So we can sort this up by the house here. We'll go with name first, and I think we'll do the room number. Oh, area can go next. And we'll do zone last. So here we have created our own schedule. Okay, so let's go back to our floor plan view. And now let's get started here. So space separation means you want to take a space and divide it into multiple spaces. Now why do we want to do that? It has to do with zones, where think of heating and cooling within a building. You have different thermostats in different places in an office, and that thermostat controls a certain zone within a building, which can be consistent with multiple spaces. Say if a space crops the sea, zones can't have that, so we have to actually separate those spaces and make a separation line so that space can be in one zone and that. So if I look at this office building that we have, one zone will probably be the three offices. This will probably be a zone, and another zone will be a corridor in the back. And then another zone will probably be the reception area and these restrooms and in the corridor up front. So if I look at that, that means I would have a zone here in the front part of the corridor and a zone in the back part of the corridor. So right now the corridor, the corridor is one area or one space. So what we need to do is split that. And to do that, we'll use the space separator technique or tool. To split a space, we're going to analyze. And on the spaces and zones panel, this space separator. This will now let you draw a line through any given space at that line. So I want to split this zone right here, this corridor right in the middle. So I'm going to move my mouse to this point, and then I'll go across opposite the other side, then left click again. So what happened is split that space. So you can see right now, corridor one and one. It's now just a space, just a space for that back corner. And the wide area is an undefined space. So I'm done with the separation, so I'm going to click modify here. So now I have to do now is create another space for the beginning part of the corridor. So to do that, I'll go to the analyze tab again and click space. And then I'll move into this undefined space and go ahead and click. 
and click modify. Now, I see this space now that I have we just created. And I want to give it another, I want to give it a, a, another number or name. And I'm going to name this, say, 101. So I could do it right here on this screen. Or I could go to my schedule. So if we look down and the schedule is created. We scroll down here. We can change it here if we like. You see, there's the new space. So there's our list of spaces. So for the listing corridor, I want to change this number to 101 as B. So I'm going to call this 101. Dash B. And the space we just created, I'm going to rename this to Corridor. And just put it right there. And I'm going to name, rename this one, renumber this to 101. I guess we could say A now. Now it's updated and placed it in number order. So let's go back to our plan view. And as you can see, there's our new spaces that we just created. Now I can see the updated spaces and the associated numbers. So that's all it is to spaces. So what we covered is create space separation lines and we did that because we have a large space that's going to have to be eventually spanning multiple zones and that's how you can build those zones. So therefore we need to split these spaces into two. So um, thank you for watching this video. And let's continue on to the next video. If you like this video, like it. And uh, welcome to all the new subscribers. So until next time, see you in the next video.